It's Ayla. It's Ayla. What you doing, mama? Okay, that's what we on. All right. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Papa. It's your girl, Pink. And we back with another one for you. And as you can see, we got the little one with us, you know. We about to go do some slight grocery shopping. Um, and we are a month into this parenting thing. So we'll talk a little bit about that, you know. So let's go ahead and get this food because your boy is starving. They making that thing. <laughs> All right, we're going to catch up with y'all. Oh, they done switched the game up on us. What's that? Waffles. Shorty over here knocked out. Sleep, sleep. Sleep, dee, 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 dee. Zone grabbing, though. Which one you want? You do pepperoni. You want to do cheese? Rise and crust three meats up. The three meats up. I'm sorry. Oh, you want the three meats up? That, I mean, yeah. we can do one of those and then a different one. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. That thing is a margarita. Margarita. We have been in this section for like 35 minutes. And put a look at 8,000 things in the big days in them. Natasha. Now you grunting and groaning. You over there trying to poop. Now you upset. <laughs> Struggling. So we are back at the house, at the crib. What it do, fool? <laughs> so we are trying to get dinner together. Um, we put all the groceries away already. It was just too much trying to record that and do get Ayla together at the same time right now. It's a little too much, but she over here, fussy. yeah, she over here chilling like a villain. 
you know. What we what we got for dinner today? What you thinking? Are we doing burgers? Yeah. Burgers and sweet potato fries. Sweet. So simple. Sweet. It's kind of hard to like cook the noodles Sweet. now because of her. But hopefully we get the hang of it soon. Potato fry. Them sweet things. So, chill. You know, but we're going to get into this conversation real soon too. Um, about it being a month already and we you know into this parenting life and what we think what we feel you know um and just what's going on you know what's going on you can see Pooh snap back coming back though we're trying that snap bike we're trying to get our lives together over here looking all good Mm. Just give me like two more weeks and I'll be in the gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all really gonna be mad at me then. <laughs> We're gonna also be documenting that too. You know, we gonna. Um, I have been getting back heavy in the gym um, at the office, but I wanted to make sure I was doing this journey with her. We were doing it together. So, uh, you know, I just decided to take some time and just, you know, make sure we're on the same page. So. We're going to be documenting our gym journeys and, you know, getting back right. You know, for those who don't know, no. I played football for a number of years from basically all my life. When I was like six, all the way through college and, you know, had some pro workouts. So we aren't a stranger of the gym. You feel me? So we're going to make sure we're getting that thing and we're going to get it right. You know what I'm saying? So let's jump into this one month journey. So we're here. We're trying to put Ayla to sleep. Ayla to sleep, but not really going as fast as we wanted it to. <laughs> this has been like a struggle for the past two hours. Yeah, yeah. So, She's not having it today. Um, but we want to talk about, you know, it's been a month already. Um just into this parenting life and here she over here smiling but it's been a month already um and we want to just share some things that you know uh we've struggled with learned from um and want to continue to you know build upon um and just you know our progress and our excitement. I think uh, the biggest thing was this patience that we've been been getting tested on. Uh, we've been tested a few times. Even today, even today, tested a little bit of patience where you know she's just sleepy, but then is hungry at the same time and yeah. necessarily wants to eat, but then not going to at the same time. So. You know things like that and um what else sleeping habits you know she's had some rough nights sometimes not a lot uh mm. um i would say like uh we've had well i have no i've had moments where i've worried about um just like certain stuff because recently she's been having like gas and stuff like that and then I think as a parent you always get worried about products and medicines and stuff to use so recently um, we've been dealing with that too just like I don't know yeah yeah we tend to just, go down like a Google rabbit hole sometimes yeah I try to stay away from Google yeah. and just call the I'd be calling the uh, office so many times yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've learned that has been like a really helpful tool. Just like calling, like the doctor, the pediatrician, if we ever have any questions, mm -hmm. because you can get a straightforward answer from them right. majority of the time. Right. Um, Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Finding out how we work together and 
our strengths and weaknesses. You know, I typically, um, you know, will take on the the night role of putting her to bed just because I feel like that's my strength and like swaddling and stuff. But Pooh is literally like, I feel like she's stronger in just about every other field. Um, she may feel differently about that, but I mean, she's here throughout the day with her taking care of her a lot more than I am during the weekday with me being back in the office. So it's, you know, um, I really give her praise for holding it down the way she does. Uh, because it's not like I worry, you know, I'm never really worried if she's okay when they're by themselves, unless she leaves out the house and goes somewhere or something. <laughs> <laughs> like other than that I really don't be worried um, I don't know just trying to I always try to make sure I give her what's, what's up <laughs> I always try to make sure I give her you know a chance to have time to herself in some regard so a lot of times when I get off you know from leaving the office and get home um, I'll try to you know just immediately come and just take over as much as I can you know if it's feeding her or you know just taking over changing her helping put her to sleep with naps or xyz try to take over as much as possible um and then I'll typically try to take over you know at night just because I know she's been with her all day and I know she's beat even though I may be beat I know she's tired too so um it definitely does help makes a big difference just even like a few minutes to myself makes a big difference because mm -hmm. it can be draining yeah. like she, even, okay. what? no she just she just needs a lot of attention right now so it's just like you're constantly doing something with her and it, it can be a lot sometimes yeah yeah even something as small as like letting her get dressed you know, to take our time and I get a little dressed and myself dressed if we're going somewhere. Um, and typically on the weekends, I wake up in the morning and take care of Ayla in the morning, feed her, and, you know, do, do what I have to do and put her back to sleep. And, you know, I let Pooh sleep for, you know, another two hours or so, at least try. Um, so I just, it's just little things like that, you know. But I think we really work well together. Um, we know sometimes sometimes I'll catch myself being a little bit more um, daddish and stern sometimes I guess you could say where like if I felt like she's just being fussy just because yes. she's tired like I'll catch myself just like you know just let her cry it out you know for a little while let her cry herself to sleep and sometimes she'll let her do it sometimes she'll pick her up and then we'll end up finding out something you know it's something else that we could have done it as she wanted and we'll get it taken care of you know um but we're not like we're not even but we're not like button heads about anything you know no. we're, we're not button heads about anything we're i think we're communicating of course, yeah well. we're communicating really well mm -hmm. yeah i think we're just open to each other's like recommendations if we think there's a better right. way of doing something we're open to hearing that way and if if it doesn't work, okay, we'll try our way. But it's just, right. we're just, we compromise really well right. when it comes to her. Right. Um, I don't know, it's just been, it's been exciting too, you know. Like, it's still very, you know, surreal to have this, you know, this child here that we've been waiting for and praying for. And, you know, obviously you guys seen preparing for so it's, you know, it's very refreshing and very, you know, peaceful to have her here and to see her grow and see how much she's grown and changed, even in this first month, you know. So it's it's something very exciting. And um, I know I learn a lot every day. I know you do too, mm -hmm. but I learn a lot every day um, and a lot about myself. And, you know, I can, I can say that it changes the the decision making that I make, you know, um, even though it already changed 
when we found out Prue was pregnant and throughout the pregnancy it had changed, but even more just now, her hair. yeah, just having her hair is like even more now, you know, just just the way you carry yourself with things and the mm -hmm. way you think about, you know, short term decisions and long term decisions and, you know, everything like that. Um, and then even just like I noticed I wasn't taking a lot of pictures of her. Like, I noticed I wasn't taking a lot of pictures of her and it wasn't like a, you know, um, I wasn't trying to, or I was, I was forgetting. It was, you it really was just like, yeah, I would just come home and from not seeing her really all day, cause nine times out of 10, most of the time I leave out, she sleeps still. Um, so not seeing her all day to, you know, coming home and I'm more so just worried about taking care of her and, you know, giving her attention and loving on her before I put a phone in her face or something, you know. So um, I've been trying to find ways to capture moments with him still, you know, living in the moment at mm -hmm. the same time. So uh, learning, learning that and then learning her personality, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. finding out what she likes. I think we've done amazing at picking up her different cries. Yeah. I think we It's done. getting a lot easier. Yeah. Of course there's times where I think it's for something and it's not, mm -hmm. but it's just like it's definitely a lot easier than before. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um cuz at first it was just like, all right, we just going to go through the list, hit right. this off, hit that off. Right. Right. Now it's kind of we'll sit there and evaluate it for some for a certain time frame and um there was an article I read that it said, you know, babies that are typically responded to within the first 90 seconds of them crying mm -hmm. grow up to be a lot more secure about themselves and um, grow up to be more well-rounded. So I, I know I typically try to figure out what's wrong within that first 90 seconds. You know, what can we do um, to respond in a way that calms her down? Uh, and also doing that lessens her cry the cry time right. so it takes us a much it's easier to calm her down after that mm -hmm. the faster we do you mm -hmm. know figure out what she needs yeah yeah and i think the honestly the biggest piece though is i know i wouldn't be able to do this without poo of course because it's it's a lot you know um i haven't had my chance to be with ayla all day by myself um i think about it sometimes i get nervous sometimes i don't but I don't really get nervous about it because I feel like by the time that actually happens, though, she's going to be, like, a little bit older and a yeah, little bit easier. easier to take care of. Um, but even now, you know, I know she'll she'll let me feed her. She'll let, you know, she doesn't give me any problems with anything. So I wouldn't necessarily really be too worried. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, like nothing, there's nothing right. really else. Right, right. Need. And then by the time I get home from the office, it's only, like, three 3 30 so it's not like it's late in the day where you don't i don't have a huge amount of hours to take care of her so you know i get a good chunk of the day in this still um but yeah it's been a month it's been a month so fast, so fast and you guys been riding with us for the, all the other nine months so we got more and more to come Guys get to watch her grow up. I know y'all get to watch her grow up, and we all become family. You know, <laughs> so we uh, you know, we have a lot of things coming up. We've been a little bit busy, uh, obviously. Um, so, but we'll be back on track with the videos every Wednesday. We'll be back on track. Um, I know recently we have started filming last week, and then we got caught up with Ayla, and I've been was locked in on two movie deals trying to close. Um, one was actually with Paramount Pictures, so I'm like super excited about that. But I was so focused on trying to take care of those. Um, and we were just really just like locked in on each other, really, you know, after that. Yeah. Um, we're finally finding time for ourselves, like yeah. for each other. Yeah. So I think also during that time, it's like we don't really want to take away from that too because right. we don't really, we haven't really gotten it right. in a long time. Right. So that's also the reason why. Right. Yeah, and I try not to be like, hey, we got to shoot this video, we got to do this. I try not to do that. Um, I try to just kind of let her tell me on her own. Um, 
But I know we we gonna be back on the ball, don't worry. Yeah. But we almost had a thousand subscribers anyway. So you know what you got to do. Don't do that to me. You know what you got to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? Make sure you tune in. And we're gonna be here every week. Growing as a family every week. Mm -hmm. Watching Ayla grow up every week, mm -hmm. being successful every week, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we gonna keep mm -hmm. doing it, you know. So we appreciate y'all tuning in, man, man up. <laughs>